Look at this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't it great? Chris. I know, it's my dream. <laughs>
totals 1,095 items. Uh, that sounds like a lot, but I think that it's pretty doable. So day number one, we're gonna do 17 pieces. Here's some easy things to declutter before 2024. Your phone apps. Scroll through your phone and delete any apps you haven't been using of late. You know which ones they are. Your kitchen counter. Sometimes it helps to take a photo of your kitchen counter so you have a fresh perspective on what you're using and what you're not. Kitchen gadgets or appliances. If you haven't used it in a couple of years, consider donating it or giving it to family and friends. Your collection of reusable bags. Now's the time to sort through the bags you're using on a regular basis and recycle the ones you're not. Your email subscriptions. You'd be surprised how much decluttering your inbox also declutters your mind. Your shoe collection. If you've got shoes that hurt your feet or shoes you never wear, consider selling them on ThreadUp, Real Real, donating them to a thrift store, or giving them to family and friends. Day four of decluttering my house, and today we are tackling the refrigerator. There's probably stuff in there that is months old, and don't judge, but this happened, so we are cleaning it out today. I started by throwing everything that looked old or that was out of date and then I don't know what spilt but we definitely had to scrub that and make it look nice and clean and then after that I cleaned out the drawers I organized everything I put the drinks and Gatorades and sodas because we didn't have that much left and then I ended up putting everything else that was good in the drawers I don't know why we even bother keeping leftovers because they just get old and gross in there and then we have to throw everything out follow along for more declutter videos and mom life a professional organizer and specialize in chronic clutter. If you struggle with clutter, I'm gonna show you how we break this down using my method to make decluttering and organizing possible. I call it the core four method. It's four simple steps we use on every project, large or small. The first step is clear out. We remove any trash or items that don't belong in the space we're working. To make this easier, we use sorting bins and assign a bin or two, however many are needed, for each room in the home. You'll see us collecting bathroom, kitchen, utility, kids' room, and a craft room, and also paperwork. Once Let's organize my claw clip drawer again. Last time that I cleaned this out was two months ago, and since then I have acquired quite a few Christmas claw clips. This one, this one, this one. These are all really small, so sell. These three butterfly clips are also small, so I'm gonna get rid of these. The last time I cleared out this drawer, I said I would keep the cherry and keep the strawberry, and I have not used them since, so ah, bitch. I recently got these Sherpa claw clips, and I love them, so I'm going to keep all three. Then these Christmas, I don't even know the material, it's not Sherpa. Sherpa. These three Christmas ones, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna keep all of my Lululemon clips because these little bitches are expensive and I'm obsessed with them. I Let's organize my claw clip drawer again. Last time that I cleaned this out was two months ago and since then I have acquired quite a few Christmas claw clips. This one, this one, this one. These are all really small so sell. These three butterfly clips are also small so I'm gonna get rid of these. The last time I cleared out this drawer I said I would keep the cherry and keep the strawberry and I have not used them since so ah bitch. I recently got these Sherpa claw clips and I love them so I'm going to keep all three. Then these Christmas, I don't even know the material, it's not Sherpa. Sherpa. These three Christmas ones, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna keep all of my Lululemon clips because these little bitches are expensive and I'm obsessed with them. I Put me in charge of snack wardrobe clear out because it is just chaos up in here i'm honestly the worst for making things look clean on the surface but then as soon as you open a cupboard or a wardrobe it's just madness do we all just have a random shoe box that we use as a memory box cute memories from this year going in then i did my best to color coordinate and this side is officially done hey I don't know 
why I was nervous to show my face again in this video. Basically, it's a month later and this is the reason that I didn't want to return to it. The whole room just gets so much worse before it gets better. Anyway, better late than never and all that. Reloading this side, which is 90% joggers. Adding some little bags of scent boosters. This just keeps everything smelling banging. Also, I'm so proud. This side is still colour coordinated after one month. Should have bought some matching aesthetic organisers, but just random storage boxes of stuff that I didn't really have a place for. Things are looking so much better. I had a whole bag for the Oxfam bin and a bag for Vinted, which will probably sit in the corner for the next month. Organizing my makeup and skincare, I kind of just put everything on the floor so I can start fresh. I have an idea of what's going in each drawer, but I don't know how I'm going to organize it, so let's see what I come up with. This drawer is going to be my lip and lash drawer. I've been waiting so long to unbox these and put these on display. I got these frosted trays from Target, and I'm using them to organize my lip glosses. You know those lashes that you can wash and reuse a couple of times? I never know what to do with them after the first use. At Home Goods, I found this pack of three trays that come with the lid, and I'm just going to store them in here. This is what the front of the drawer looks like. I still can't believe that Too Faced sent me my first makeup PR box. I'm storing all of my makeup palettes in this drawer, and I'm going to organize them by using these palette organizer things. I'm putting the most aesthetically pleasing palettes in the front, and instead of having them stand up like this, I'm using this container to hold them at a slanted angle. And as you can see, I have an addiction to BoxyCharm. Well, this is what the front looks like. But how am I already out of time? I just talk too much. Let's be real, I'll probably end up finishing this around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'll see you in part 2. My sister randomly decided to declutter and reorganize our bathroom. We realized our mom is a hoarder and likes to keep things that we don't need. Not my mom getting stressed. She was making my mom say goodbye to all the old items that need to be thrown away. The room became a mess. We were getting tired, but we didn't stop until everything was organized. We found a random packet and didn't know what was in it and turned out it was a glove. Then we found my sister's hair that she cut to donate two years ago and forgot about. We showed it to my mom and she got scared of it. cleaning up cluttered spaces in my 400 square foot apartment and we are changing out the bathroom shelving. I started by taking everything out and disinfecting the shelf because we are going to try and use this in a different space of the apartment. And then my fiance started building the custom shelf he made for our bathroom. He made it out of white oak and used large dowel rods. With the old shelf we had in the bathroom, we didn't really use the laundry basket area, so it was a ton of wasted space. For this one, he created four shelves and made it longer than the one we initially had. I absolutely love how this shelf turned out and I honestly wish we could keep it in the living room, but it was custom built for the bathroom, so that's where it's going. After Jesse placed it in the bathroom, I began to put all of our products on it. I found the baskets on Facebook Marketplace and at Home Goods, and it was a great way to add storage without taking away from the light wood color. I think this color complements the bathroom a lot more than the dark. It's day 21 of my declutter challenge, and today I'm tackling this hot mess in my laundry room. This wall of cubbies is really used for storage for a ton of different things, but it's gotten easily out of hand in a giant mess. Because this is such a big area, my goal for today was to just get everything off the floor and off the top of these cubicles, and then I'm going to do the top cubbies only, basically splitting the area in half. I have a lot of different hobby type stuff over here. I kind of like to dabble in a lot of different things, honestly, to just feed my creativity, but I've got a lot of glitters, I've got a lot of paints, ribbons, bows, really a lot of little things. And the top portion of all of these cubicles really is such a big mess. It just became a catch-all for everything. So for those of you who like to see exactly what I'm getting rid of, I'm putting all the decluttered items into this brown bag. And the top is finally clear, and now I'm moving on to the top cubbies. I've got these curtains that I'm never going to use. Goodbye. This cubby I actually... Let's declutter my kitchen one small section at a time so I don't get overwhelmed. I'm starting with these top two cabinets. Right away I found Halloween napkins and these glass container things that I never use. And a menorah which needs to be put away with the holiday stuff. And I'm short so I had to jump to make sure I got everything out of there. And don't come for me. The previous owners caused whatever that grease stain is in the cabinets, not me. The first thing I got rid of were these bowls because they're like nails on a chalkboard feeling and then these glass containers. Then I moved on to basically my toddler's cabinets, all his stuff except we have popcorn bowls up top which like don't even fit. I wish I could say this is all the cups that he has but our dishwasher is full of like at least five or six more cups found these baby mesh things to throw away and then a christmas bowl that needed to get put away and then these are the only things i got rid of unfortunately i don't like to wash things by hand so i like to have a lot of dishes especially for him because he uses so many and then they can just all go in the dishwasher and i don't have to worry about it and then i adjusted this top shelf a little lower so i could fit our popcorn bowls up here and get them out of the toddler cabinet now i'm excited to declutter the rest of my kitchen 
is one of my biggest cluttering projects that I've done so far. My goal for 2024 is to not have all of our junk everywhere and not have a lot of junk in our house, period. Every day that I get ready, I look at everything that we have and not being able to open our drawers is really driving me up the wall. I did go to the dollar store and get a lot of these dividers so that way everything has a place. That's one of my biggest tips is if something has a place, it will stay in that place. It makes it a lot easier to keep things organized. Going through these drawers, I noticed that we had a bunch of stuff that we do not use anymore. I also was tired of having all of my makeup on our counters because it took away a lot of counter space. I did lose a lot of footage, so unfortunately you didn't get to see me put everything back in the drawers. But underneath the cabinets, I put the extra stuff that didn't fit in the drawers underneath here and they all had a place. I'm so happy to have everything off of our counters and everything has a place in our drawers. I spent an entire month decluttering my home. I went through every single room, every drawer, every space. I decluttered and I organized to simplify my life. We got rid of over 50% of the items in our home by simplifying. I was able to donate and get rid of any excess that we weren't actively using or love. During this process, I learned that the best form of self-care is a simplified home. When we are taking care of our homes, we're taking care of the environments our bodies live in. And our bodies need a place they can feel safe, calm, and rested. Research is showing us that the anxiety levels of women are directly correlated to the amount of items in our home. We are not bad at homekeeping. We're not bad at managing. We're not bad at cleaning. We are simply managing too much. I used to think I was uncomfortable in my body because of my weight, but what this process taught me is I was actually uncomfortable because my stress levels were so high from managing too much at home. What I learned is as I took away stuff out of my house, I actually got back more peace, more rest, and more family time, and I didn't have to spend as much time working. If you want a home that heals, comment below, and I will send you my free 30-day homes that heal decluttering challenge so you can feel peace and calm at home too. These are your biggest decluttering hangups and how to fix them. Number one is wanting to hold on to something that doesn't align with your actual lifestyle. Do you have six pairs of heels? How often do you wear heels? Number two is not wanting to get rid of it because you spent a lot of money on it. I hate to tell you, but that money is gone. You can either try and sell the item or just take it as a learning lesson loss. People pay for lessons all the time and holding on to that item isn't bringing you value, it's bringing you guilt. Number three, hang up. What if I'll use it someday? What I recommend here is putting things in a box in your garage with a date on it. If you need it, you'll look for it. And if not, when the date comes due, you can donate it safely. Hang up number four is thinking that it's a one and and done process. Decluttering and having a curated house is a lifelong thing because your life is ever changing. This last year I got a puppy with my husband and there was a lot of stuff that we only needed for two or three months. Donated and sold what he outgrew as quickly as he outgrew it. And my house has stayed clutter free. If you want to declutter your home, try these three things. Place an empty box in a common area like a hallway. Whenever you see an item in your home you no longer love, or for me, feels overwhelming to maintain, drop it in here. As soon as the box is full, you can drop the box off at your local donation center. I always keep a trash bag in my closet, so when I find something that no longer fits me, I toss it in the bag, and as soon as it's full, it goes straight to the donation center, allowing you to make physical room for clothes you actually like and mental space to enjoy getting ready in the morning. You are not meant to fit your clothes. Your clothes are meant to fit you. At the end of every day, create a 20-minute closeout routine where you reset your home for the next day. This can include picking up all items and returning them to their home, tidying up your space, loading the dishwasher, wiping countertops, or anything else. But returning your home to a state of peace at the end of the day will allow you to start the next day in a positive and a refreshed mood. Remember that decluttering is a maintenance process. You cannot do it once and be done. Keeping up with these small steps will help you create a clutter-free and serene home. Make sure you're keeping up with our decluttering challenge on our story posts every day for the month of January. Like and share this with a friend. We found a match.
Five of getting this house sorted and ready for Christmas. I know you're probably sick of hearing me say that by now, but I am still on a mission. Yes, I am in my dressing gown because my house feels like the North Pole. Today I'm finishing off the kitchen cupboards that I started yesterday. And this one was so cluttered. There was loads of tins and food packets that I've never used and probably never will, so they are going to the food bank. I am the worst for not checking what we already have before I do the food shopping, so then we end up with loads of everything and it's just not needed. So I got rid of a load and then I just popped everything back in nice. And I really need to try and start doing a shopping list so that I don't end up with doubles of everything. It's then time to clean on top of the but I do not recommend standing on a swivel chair for this. I nearly fell off about 10 times. Found a naughty elf from last year stuck to the top of the cupboard, so I sent him back to the North Pole. Wiped it all down, and just look how much better it looks. this cupboard has been my worst nightmare. It's full of all them little tubs and containers. Half of which are either missing the box or the lid. So I have no idea why they're in there. And Phoebe doesn't have pack lunch anymore, and it's very rare we actually use them, so I got rid of a load of them. The bottom part wasn't too bad. It's just the crisps that, for some reason, people keep putting empty bags back in. It's so annoying. And that's another job done, and I finally got rid of my pump Pumpkin scrub daddy, he definitely served me well. First on the to-do list is this space, the bodge. I think everyone's just forgot about the fact that I've actually got shoe storage and the shoes just get dumped here. There's a bag of just rubbish there. So the plan is to move this bench on the right so I've got more space to get in and out with the push chair and to stop people from just dumping things on top of it. So I'm organising the shoes into piles just to decide what we actually need here at the front door because we just have so many shoes here and there's just absolutely no need. I'm just getting the shelves out to get hoovered. <laughs> got someone in the house that plays football you'll know exactly what i mean when i say that the little black bits that come out of the football boots are uh, everywhere so i needed to go to over i know there's so much water clean so i carried on with that and then got down to organizing the shoes because there was just no need for the amount that we had so i've aimed for about six each and then that's what we're going to keep here at the front door and the rest is going to go away i also decided to move this lamp because it doesn't fit on there so i don't know why it sat there for so long and i just wanted it to look like a clean open space so follow along for the next room organize I'm really embarrassed to show you all this room, which most people would call their spare room, but I have been treating as a dumping ground. I decided enough was enough at the weekend and I really needed to get on top of it because it was making me feel sick and my mum would definitely not be proud. There is even Christmas presents on the bed in those boxes. Luckily, I went through them because I found money. Bola! Is there anything better than finding money unexpectedly? I then stripped the bed, put the sheets in a wash and then turned my attention to the windowsill, aka my makeup shelf. Who else uses their windowsill as a makeup area? I do dust the windowsill quite regularly so it wasn't that bad but wait till you see the dust that was on one wipe of this bedside table absolute filth but i can actually top that with the dust that was on top of this chest of drawers it has not been dusted in a really really long time as you can see but i always have so much stuff on there i managed to convince my boyfriend to let me have one of the drawers and that meant i could move a lot of the stuff that was on top of there into the drawer and then it just made the top of the desk look so much less cluttered this is everything that i did today and this is what we've got left to do another day i'm so so excited to vacuum the floors so i will see you for part two when we finish this bedroom it's day nine of my decluttering series where i am decluttering one small area of my house every day until i feel like i've recovered from 2023 today we're starting with this mess of a kitchen cabinet that has become no longer practical the process for decluttering an area is to first remove everything put it all in a big old pile and then i look at it and try to organize it. when i was removing everything i actually found this bag of velcro zip ties that i used to organize my cables I decided to use it on all of my small appliances just to keep the cabinet a little bit more organized step two is to go in and clean everything out at this point i usually start to question my life and i'm like why did i decide to do this then start to come up with a plan on how you want to put everything back in the cabinet. Since this is a really small kitchen, I got this wire rack for my cutting board so they can stand straight up and I can pull them out I put easily. put any appliances that I don't frequently use, like this waffle maker, in the back. I have the small appliances that I use more frequently in the front. I did end up getting rid of that little omelet pan because I never use I it. I put a Velcro tie on my silk pat mat too because I cannot figure out a good way to store I'm it. I to the upper cabinet and it's really not that bad except for this lid hanger that has been driving me nuts. I ordered picture hanging command strips so that that just stays down because every time I open it, it slams. I decided to move my crock pot up here and declutter too much here but i am donating all of these items follow me for more if you've got annoying scuff marks on your walls doors and furniture then you need the pink stuff and a sponge this will honestly save you having to repainting, but it'll still look like you've decorated my paint is all wipeable i don't know how this would work if your paint isn't wipeable it may take the paint off for me i just scrubbed it with a damp sponge and then wiped it over with a damp cloth to remove the residue and it takes the scuffs away no bother without damaging the paintwork do be careful when scrubbing because I think if you scrub too hard, it may take the paint off, but I didn't have a problem and I always buy wipeable paint with having kids and dogs. I also used it on my doors. You can't really see the scuffs because for some reason I started doing this at half eight at night. It was pitch black outside, so the lighting inside was appalling. 
but again it removed the scuffs easily it left everything nice and white again and honestly the difference on the walls from just removing scuff marks is amazing it looks like you've redecorated it's absolutely crazy so if you want to get your scuff marks off your walls your doors your furniture and have everything looking like new again just grab yourself a tub of the pink stuff sponge wet your sponge first scrub away maybe test in an area first to make sure you're not going to damage the paint and everything will be looking like new when you're finished so back to part two of me getting my shit together for 2024. Today we're tackling my beauty room, which is overflowing with old expired products. Watching back on this video, I definitely realised I have a problem. I have this horrible habit of using a foundation one or two times, and then I let it rot at the back of my drawer. I have had some of these foundations for three to five years, and they've gone all horrible and separated and smell really funky. But let's just say this declutter was much needed. Next, we're tackling my primer slash moisturiser slash setting spray drawer. Friend Rebecca and I so clean done this collaboration, and honestly, it smells so good. It just felt so good to take everything out the drawer and evaluate all the products that you have and I decided I needed a whole drawer just for my primers. I actually realised I had so many doubles and even triples of my favourite products. For example, these Go Recipe Nice and My Dew Drops. Why on earth did I open three at one time? I managed to condense two products into one. It was so satisfying seeing all my products lined up so I can actually see what is in the drawer. Next we're tackling my most used drawer of all time which is my bronzers, blushes and powders. Looking back, I probably should have done a little purge but honestly I find it so hard to get rid of things. I feel like I get so much attachment to things and I'm like, oh, I might use it one day. This is the mindset that I'm really trying to change this year I always feel like I'm a bit of a holder and I hold on to things that no longer serve me. I end up watching this YouTube video on how to declutter and let go it's day six of my decluttering challenge and today we are tackling the linen closet this is the only linen closet in our house and as you can see it is completely filled up we also have this three drawer organizer at the bottom that doesn't open with the door I don't know why I put it in there so the space clearly needs some help so I'm going to start by taking absolutely everything out my goal is to really declutter and only keep what I feel like we want or need in this space and the rest of it say goodbye to. In the three drawer organizer, we have pillowcases, duvet covers, bed sheets, and I had such a hard time getting this container out. I actually had to take the bottom hinge off of this door as you can see here. And here's my dog supervising. I was finally able to get it out and get a good look at the space that I am going to now be working with. The floor is unfinished in here, but that's okay. It'll be a project for another day. This is everything I took out. I'm just going to do a quick vacuum in this closet just to make sure there's no dust in here before I start putting things back. And my goal is to fill this garbage bag up. So I'm starting with the towels. I feel like those are easiest because I actually got rid of several towels not long ago. So I feel like I didn't have too many to actually get rid of. Next, I'm moving on to pillowcases. And I'm just making a pile of what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. I've been doing my own. Finally time I tackled the cupboard from hell. I've been putting this off for weeks and every time I open it, it literally makes me want to set the cupboard on fire. So I'm finally pulling my finger out and getting it done. This is yet again another cupboard that is full to the brim. This is supposed to just be the airing cupboard, but with Harper still being in our room, it's got all her clothes in as well. The reason Harper is still in with us at the age of nearly five is because my eldest has the big room and Lexi has the little room. So what we need to do is swap the girls into the bigger room and Bailey will get the little room, but he's nearly 16 and there's only a shorty bed in there. So I'm concerned that he just won't fit. Anyway, I'm rambling now instead of talking about what I'm actually doing. So I've sorted through all the towels, got rid of as many as I can and put the rest back in. Also sorted through the massive stock of hot water bottles we had. Apparently these go out of date, so I've got rid of the old ones and only kept the ones we've not had too long. Folded up all the bedding again so it's nice and neat and put all that back. And yes, I do physically have to climb in this cupboard. I'm a midget and I can't reach the top, but I think even a normal sized person would definitely have to climb in here to be able to get to the very top. 
I've then emptied all Harper's drawers and took out what's too small and only put back what's fits set. I cannot wait for the day that Harper hopefully has her own room with her own wardrobe and her own drawers instead of me trying to squeeze all our clothes in this cupboard. Anyway, that's everything put back nice and neatly and look at the difference. It's like a new cupboard and I always get wrong for not showing you what I actually got rid of. So here it is. This is the massive pile that's going. Let's declutter my claw clip drawer. Keep, keep, keep. Color blue legitimately triggers me, so sell. So, so, this one's an egg, but I just, I don't like that. Keep, 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 keep. This one my best friend Kayla bought me and I love it. I've tried so many times to use these, things never work out. Sell, 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 sell. These I thought were claw clips. I don't like it, but I think they're really cute. Look at the little cherry. I'll keep the cherry and then sell the pineapple. Oh my God, but I have to keep. I have to keep this adorable strawberry. Waka, 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 waka. I already have a huge claw clip. One that Kayla got me, so sell. This one is my birthstone. Keep. This one is a giant one with cherries. Keep. Every pink lover needs a giant baby pink claw clip. So this is my designated one. Sell all of these big, all of these muted tone claw clips. Sell. Keep these two. How cool are they? One side is black and one side is white. Then sell this one because it doesn't really hold my hair. All four little cuties in the back we're keeping. We don't love the color blue. Well, I'm a professional organizer and specialize in chronic clutter. If you struggle with clutter and have no idea where to begin, I'm gonna show you how we break this down so you can make decluttering and organizing possible. We're gonna start in our general areas, living room, dining room, hallways. These are not usually high storage areas and they collect a lot of things that belong elsewhere in the home. So we're gonna grab our sorting bins and start clearing out and categorizing these items by the room that they belong. We use a bin for each space, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, garage, play space, and of course, paperwork. After collecting and condensing everything in these two spaces, we were down to one bin for each room. So it's time for them to be rehomed temporarily and addressed later. You always have to work one room at a time, and today, this is the room we're working in. And if you don't remember what it looked like before, here you go. And by following my core four method in a few hours, here is our after. When you commit to the process, you will be working one room at a time and addressing those bins that you set aside so you don't have to worry. If you need a little extra help, go check out my declutter kits. They are step-by-step -step guides.
told I need to declutter my entire house because we move in 30 days and I am not ready. I opened the door, realized I needed reinforcements, aka a podcast, because this was going to take me a while. My office is honestly probably the worst because I have a tendency to throw random stuff, yes, including broken sports bras, into random baskets and shove them away and hope I never have to deal with them. Well, today was the day I had to deal with it. So I'm just going through and sorting everything into three piles, a donate, a trash, and then a keep pile. Honestly, this was very therapeutic and I was in a ruthless mood. So you know when you're in a ruthless mood and you're just like ready to get rid of shit? That's how I felt today. So it was good. And yeah, my office is the worst because I put all my receipts in here and there, I have so many random to-do lists and planners because I think I'm a planner girly and I'm not a planner girly. And yeah, I just, I really had to be ruthless today. And now I'm going through everything. This is like the worst part of decluttering is when you have everything laid out and you're like, well, now I got to find a home for everything. So here I am just once again deciding what we're keeping, what we're donating and what we're throwing in the trash. And I was so happy to have some empty bins for moving. Here is my donate pile so far. Pretty good. And I'm exposing ourselves. Yes, for those people who only painted to the edge of our closet. Last spot I wanted to declutter was my office drawers. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little declutter with me and I am excited to keep going. I am not allowed to buy another single beauty product until I clean and declutter what I already have. I have so much stuff that I don't use. It's been really bothering me, so I'm going to make myself throw it away. But first, I need everything that I'm going to keep to be spotless and organized. I've always worn makeup, but I never like thought of myself as someone who's really, really good at it. I, I thought it was fine, though, until the last few years. I feel like I'm really behind. I, I look at all the amazing tutorials, and I'm like, how do you know how to do that? Like... Who taught you this? I don't know. I'm 30. Maybe that's just how you feel when you're 30. I've been buying some new makeup products like that I've seen on TikTok, but so many of the things I have are literally from like 2017. Like these Milani blushes that I'm keeping 100%. I bought those in 2017. Makeup is so expensive now. It's so overwhelming. I'd like, I don't know how everyone is buying so much, but I really want to buy new makeup. I probably have a hundred videos on here saved of products that people recommend that I want to buy. Here's what I'm throwing away, mostly stuff that's like old or just isn't the right shade, doesn't look good on me, I never use it. Honestly, I think a lot of this stuff I got in like ipsy bags like seven years ago. I'm decluttering my hair care products too, this is what I'm keeping. It looks like a lot, I know, I have naturally wavy hair though, which requires so many freaking products to style, and then I need products to style it straight, it's so annoying. I love throwing things away, oh it's so satisfying, what a productive Sunday I'm having. I'm a professional organizer and we're going to declutter and organize this bedroom using my core four method. Our first step is clear out. We're gonna collect any items that don't belong in the space, set them aside to be readdressed later, and also remove any big bulky items like this rack and clear it out to give us space to work. Step two is categorize. So we're collecting likes with likes so the client can see everything he has and is prepared for step three, cut out. This is where he's going to make his decisions decluttering using my three second rule. If you don't know what that is, why aren't you following me? Go check out my page to learn more. Once those donations are out, we are ready for step four, contain. This is where we assess our items and our available storage and create a functional layout that's gonna be really easy for him to maintain. We always customize this for the individual client. So what he's using regularly is going to be front and center, very easy to access always keeping and storing our categories together. 
and making sure that everything fits comfortably in its storage area. We always like to leave about 10% open for wiggle room. And here is our final result. This is a great example of functional organizing. So we're not talking aesthetic, fancy baskets, labels, all of that. We're looking for a simple, functional system that's easy to maintain. If you want to learn how to do it yourself, go check out my declutter kits. They're step-by-step -step guides.
Welcome back to day 13 of my decluttering series. I took a little bit of a hiatus here because I'm not gonna lie, I got into a it rut. It doesn't matter when you get it done, as long as you get it done. We're all about progress over perfection on this page. Please, I have to pick my dog up whenever I vacuum because he literally hates it. My desk thing. area has been out of control. I got this filing cabinet to try to fix it. And applying for jobs and freelancing and I was just like, you know what, clear desk, clear mind, I need to go through this. My dog this. was on top of me this entire time. He was like, I just wanna be involved. So much stuff over here that did not belong, like that purse. Keeping my Emily in Paris phone case, but getting rid of this other and one. if you don't know, I have a one box in, one box out method. I had a package come in in this box and we're filling it up with things that I'm decluttering. This is my 2023 planner that I barely used, ripping out the stickers and throwing that thing away. These are all of my wedding cards. Um, does anyone know what I'm I should do I'm taking a filing cabinet basically because these drawers are so thin, they just didn't hold much of we anything. We all have an old iPhone in a drawer. Rid of these happy holidays from Pittsburgh cards because I haven't lived there in years. Got a little sentimental because I found the last card that my grandpa sent me before he passed away, so obviously I can't get rid all of All these postcards from an old job that I don't know what to do with. Last artist is the same as the print that I have above my desk. And this has been a day working at my desk and having that filing cabinet right next to my legs was driving me nuts. I felt so constricted. Pulled it out and I added the wheels and I put it over here. What do you guys think? Like, what looks better? Please, I can't decide. I keep getting so frustrated because I need an office like yesterday. My space is so small and I'm doing the best that I can with it, but it, it gets annoying. I ordered these clear containers to help organize the drawers and it looks a little bare right now, but that's because I have a lot of junk in my closet that's eventually going to go into this filing cabinet. I've really gotten such a funk this past month, but I'm feeling reinvigorated. I'm turning this into a 2024 reset. Here's everything I'm getting rid of, papers, junk, a whole box. It's January 1st, which means it's day one of my personal declutter challenge. I'm starting with the cup cabinet, which really makes it look like I have a slight cup addiction. Besides the fact that I just have too many cups in general, the accessibility of this cabinet just wasn't working for me personally anymore, so I wanted to change the setup. And what you're seeing now is what I took out of that cabinet. I know it's a huge amount. Call me crazy, but I no longer drink coffee, so I wanted to move all of my mugs to the top shelf. I'm not ready to get rid of the mugs yet because I still use them for things like hot cocoa or tea, but I don't do that as frequently, so I figured accessibility-wise, moving them to the top shelf would make the most sense. It had also been a hot minute since I wiped down the shelves in this cabinet, so I figured there's no better time than now. I also took time doing this when I adjusted my shelves to make sure that the cups I wanted to put on there would actually fit. I also feel like organizing is such trial and error. You'll see in this video, I move things around kind of frequently. I put them in one spot and maybe they don't work there, so I shift things around. I feel like there's rarely a time where I organize something and I get it right the first time in a space. And these cups in this spot right here are what I'm going to be donating and getting rid of just to make more space in the cabinet. My plan is to choose one area of my home that is overwhelming me, whether it be a cabinet or a drawer or just a space in general, and just get it decluttered and organized, taking 15 minutes just to do one space a day. I feel like we'll really break everything down and just make it more manageable. I honestly don't know how I ended up with this many cups. Majority of these are just mine. My kids' cups are actually in another area in my kitchen. But now that this is done, this area feels so much better and I can check it off my to-do list. Feel free to come back tomorrow to see what I declutter next. My house is so upside down right now. We've had back-to-back 
tournaments like every weekend and when that happens like i usually get so behind i've tried so hard to keep up with the laundry and the cleaning and like i swear one or two days it just gets so behind i've been trying to give myself a lot more grace with this because i'm realizing that this is just my life now my house isn't dirty it's just lived in i started reading a book habits of the household and he literally starts it with prefacing that he has small children and he's in the thick of it and that this book is for people that are in the thick of it and that's literally just where i'm at in the thick of it i've started to listen to audiobooks while i'm cleaning so that i can refrain from rage cleaning <laughs> which i often do it's really hard not to rage clean when there's just stuff everywhere and i throw things away all the time like i'm always getting rid of stuff but yet there's still so much stuff but I have four kids and they all have a lot of stuff in a small space, so it is what it is, you know? And everyone I talk to says the same thing. Like, this is, this is life, this is motherhood. And I'm all about making motherhood unfiltered content because this is what it looks like. This is normal. If you have a lot of stuff, it's normal. If your kids are making messes all the time, it's normal. If you have laundry every day, if you have to clean every day, if you have dishes so high you can't see your sink, it's normal. So if you're in the thick of it like me and you get frustrated with yourself like I do, I'm here to tell you this is normal and you're doing great. You're a great mom. Love you. Bye. What are you up to right now? Because I am balls deep in decluttering my kitchen cupboards. If you're here from part one, it is fantastic to see you again. If you're just here trying to figure out what was the reason for all of these random things in this cupboard, there is no rhyme and there is no reason, but we're going to try and figure one out. This started out as a kitchen appliance cupboard, but somewhere along the way we lost ourselves. And yes, I do own a micro while they... Uh, 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 staying alive. That was heavy. Anyway, I am going to donate my microwave because I haven't spared it so much as a thought in three years. So it's time for someone to love it the way I just can't. And I am damp dusting. Can you tell I've been turning a blind eye on this cupboard for a while? But the way it bends like that, it is just asking to become a graveyard. I have just had a brainwave. This will all make sense if you've seen part one. But what is one thing that I will be looking below eyeline to find? Alcohol, obviously. Somebody got us this massive grey goose for Christmas. So a reshuffle is needed. By the way, grey goose, 10 out of 10, elite gift. Yes, we have been left with an un unfortunately small section above but hear me out bag for life cubby yes i should put them immediately back in my car but if you think i'm going to be doing that you are underestimating the lengths my laziness goes to i've been doing this for a real long while so i'm boring my boyfriend's top to use as a bib while i have a soup break tin of soup and a two hour doom scroll later we are back to offload some dead weight i have got absolutely no business drinking anything of this color good riddance don't let the door hit you on the way out also i'm ready to let go of those out of date nando's packets i haven't had any revelations during this whole process so we're simply going to restore it as a kitchen appliance cupboard this spare shelf for my fridge i just can't let it go despite the fact that i haven't needed it since the day i got my fridge don't look in here that's a cupboard for another day i'm simply just retrieving my toaster because i feel like it belongs with its family in here back corner though because i've got no plans to use it anytime soon r.i.p anyway now i'm just cleaning my kitchen and i think i'm pretty much done so i'm before and afters for you and now i know exactly where i'm headed 2024 and i desperately need to declutter and clean my whole entire apartment if you're new here i live in a tiny apartment with absolutely no storage and so we are going to dedicate 2024 to decluttering and cleaning until i'm no longer stressed out from the overwhelming amount of things that are in my house that i have nowhere to store one thing that i have to keep in mind is that i have to take this at my own pace and not overwhelm myself thinking that i can do this every single day and get it done as quickly as possible i no longer have the same time Time that I used to before I was a mom and I have to come to the conclusion that it is okay for me to take my time so I'm not completely anxious and stressed and honestly end up not doing this at all because of how overwhelmed I get. I'm gonna take this slowly and do this challenge where whenever I have the time and my baby is not needing my attention because of course he comes first I'm going to do some decluttering, even if that means little by little. And today I worked on this tiny little corner. And honestly, I am so proud of myself because this year was a very hard year. And cleaning and decluttering was something that I truly had absolutely no capacity to do. And today my mom was in town, so I took some time at night and I decluttered and cleaned this little section to the best of my ability. So here's to 2024 being the year where I no longer allow myself to feel overwhelmed and stressed by my apartment, but instead take small steps to trying to make the space feel more like home and that I can feel peace and excited to be here. And I cannot wait. So make sure that you follow along so you don't miss out on all the cleaning and decluttering that I'm gonna be doing. And of course, if you're feeling up for it, you can join me too. It's declutter day 20 and I am tackling my desk area in my laundry room finally because this is a hot mess. I mentioned previously that there were two areas in my house that I was completely overwhelmed with and this was one of them. 
it just kind of became a catch-all spot for pretty much everything, so I knew I had to get it done. Over to the left here, there's a printer under all of that. As always, my goal is to just take everything out of the area, so I've completely cleared the top, and now I'm about to move on to emptying all the drawers. I definitely want to condense things in this area because I have way too many of several of the same office supplies. What's also kind of funny is this desk is opposite of my washer and dryer, and I know several of you have seen my washer and dryer, especially when I do my Sunday reset videos, um, and some people have said, well, we didn't notice your laundry room being too messy, but I am kind of careful about where I position my camera, so that just goes to show you that social media is not always accurate, but this is where I ended up putting everything when I was taking it out of the desk, on top of the washer and dryer, and then on the floor in front of it. Anything on the smaller side, I just put in this laundry basket, and now I'm going to start to reorganize and put things back little by little. My goal with this desk is to be able to open the drawers and actually see where everything is and not have to dig. During this process, I am just going through and putting things into a garbage bag that I no longer need. I will say too, there were several things in the desk area that just didn't belong there and needed to go back to their actual spot in the house, so I did that as well. And here's my dog, Sophie, being nosy. I swear she makes an appearance in almost every video because she wants to know what I'm doing all the time. This is my favorite part though, is just organizing and getting things neat, tidy, and organized. This is everything I'm getting rid of. And this is a final look at the drawers in the desk. It feels and looks so much better in my Welcome back. It's day two of decluttering our entire house before we move. And welcome to my bathroom. I can't believe I'm showing this and putting this on the internet. This was the look on my face and I was like, oh my god, why am I doing this to myself? Why, why do I need to declutter this space right now? This man my bathroom just can't stay organized no matter what i don't know how to fix that getting rid of my revlon one step i don't really use it anymore and i decided to just like pack some stuff since i don't need it all this is my random shit basket that i throw random shit into so here i am decluttering it going through like things i want to give to family and friends things i'm going to use things that are expired and i decided to pack up all of the extra products i have like backups and stuff that i wouldn't need before we move so i'm packing all that up in there and then i also packed our blood pressure cuff and then this is a bag with all of my extra makeup and then i told myself i could only keep a basket out of the things i need for the next month so like makeup wipes uh claw clip all that kind of stuff and then i got to decluttering my drawers which were a hot mess and i basically just went through with the mentality of what am i going to need for the next month decided once again if i had extra makeup that could be packed away i wasn't going to need to replenish my makeup products and honestly i got rid of a decent amount but i also was able to just pack a lot of it away because i have a lot of like doubles of things when they go on sale and then this is just like our medicine drawer which i ended up leaving a lot of this stuff out obviously just in case but we have like expired covid tests in here and expired medication stuff that just needed to be decluttered and thrown out and then this is my medicine cabinet and i decided to go through and really assess what i was going to need for the next you know 20 something days before we move so i was able to pack a lot of this stuff up too and yeah this is so satisfying to watch honestly but here is the end result bathroom is all nice and clean and things are packed see you tomorrow originally my afternoon plans were to sit on the couch and do nothing but i decided i should probably get up and declutter a few spaces in the house first on our list was our little armoire bar and i know this looks like a lot of alcohol but we were pretty much gifted all of it and i just like the way that the bottles look once i had everything that did not belong out of there i reorganized it and cleaned the surface i do want to put some wallpaper in here because i think it would look super cute but i just have not had the energy to do that yet i did take everything to its rightful home this went downstairs hey and these went to their rightful homes the bathroom and the linen closet Closet. And with the 911 kit in its home, we can move on to the toy shelf. I am not purging the toys today. It's just way too big of a job to do when the kids are awake, but I did want to clean off the top of the shelf. This always makes the living room look like three times cleaner. All this stuff belonged in my oldest dis dis dis. Um, anyways, all that belongs in her room. Had to make sure no one saw me sneak in there. Once I put those up, I moved on to the other side of the shelf and just continued decluttering, finding new homes for things. Our Alexa shuffles family photos, so that's why it got baby faced. A lot of people asked about this shelf and my mom did make it, but they sell similar ones at Ikea. That's where the bins are from. And now that I got those last few things off, the shelf is clean. Just ignore the toys. The last area on my list was above the cabinets. It drives me crazy having all these boxes up here. Had to do a little parkour for those last two. I thought for sure I was going to break my kneecaps trying to get back down, but luckily I made it down unscathed. All these boxes were snack stuff that I bought in bulk and I just didn't know what to do with them. But I had cleared out a spot with a big bin in the pantry, so I dumped 
dumped all the snacks into that bin. I broke all the boxes down and put them in a trash bag and then I was able to put that bin back in the pantry. This made me feel so much better about the house and it took me like 30 minutes. It's just one of those things where it feels so daunting but it really takes no time at all. But now that it's all done, I'm going back to my original plan and just laying on the couch the rest of the afternoon. And of course, I'm keeping the baby Yoda 10. Okay, bye!